English language is very expressive. The meaning of the word is emitted, the way it is said or sounded. That is why when it's long, you say long, and you say short. You don't say the short and long of it. <laughs> so when it's big, make it big. And when it's cute, you say cute, cute. You say cute. So you, you express the word. This is one characteristic of language that will be depicted and reflected in the piece I'm going to read. more samples of how language can be expressive, you say up, down. Dover Beach by Matthew Arnold. The moon lies pale upon the straits, and the prince calls the light gleams and is gone. The cliffs of England stand glimmering and vast out of the trampled bay. Come to the window. Only from the long line of spray where the sea meets the moon blends land. Listen. You hear the grating roar of pebbles which the waves drive back and fling at the return. Up, up the high strand. Begin and see and then again begin with tremulous cadence low and bring the eternal note of sadness. Sophocles long ago heard it from the Aegean and it brought into his mind the turbid ebb and flow of human misery. Also, in the sound of thought, hearing it by the distant northern sea. The sea of faith was once too of the cool and brown earth shore. Lay like the pools of a bright girdle of pearl. But now I only hear its melancholy. Long withdrawing river, retreating to the brief breast of the night wind, down the vast ages clear, and the shingles of the world. Ah, oh, love, let us be true to one another, for the world which seems to lie before us like a land of dreams, so various. So beautiful, so new. Have we really neither joy, nor love, nor light, nor certitude, nor peace, nor help for pain? And we are here as in the darkening plain, so that we can use the lives of struggle and fight. Where ignorant armies clash, I 